Okay. Um, welcome everyone and thank you for watching. My name is Dana Sparks and I'm the chair of Acorns East Hamilton chapter. And Veronica? Yes, and my name is Veronica and I am the uh, chair of the Mountain chapter. Thank you and welcome. Okay, um, I will go over what is ACORN. ACORN um, stands for Association of Community for Reform Now. It's an independent national organization of low and moderate income families with 140,000 plus members in 20 plus neighborhoods chapters across the city. Acorn Canada is founded in 2004 and the first Hamilton chapter in Hamilton is 2017. In Hamilton, we have Acorn chapters downtown East End and on the mountain. Since 2017, Hamilton Acorn has focused its local advocacy on improving the health and safety in market rentals and protecting tenants from renovations. We are here today ahead of the planning committee meeting where a staff report is coming back on comparing how Hamilton's apartment property standards compared to other jurisdictions and identified areas of improvement. We are pleased to be joined by Ward 2 Councillor Jason Farr. Hi Dana, thank you very much. Uh, thank you to Veronica and Olivia as well and welcome to the media. I appreciate the opportunity to uh, just sort of set the table for item 10.1, exciting for a lot of folks today across the city on our planning and economic development agenda. I have the privilege many months ago to work with the original mover of a motion uh, to amend our property standards bylaw, uh, Councillor Terry Whitehead, who as a result, a direct result of meeting with ACORN members, uh, put a motion on the floor to have staff go and investigate ways in which we can strengthen the property standards bylaw and ultimately municipal law enforcement enforcement on uh, rental properties. Uh, today, we have the report um, uh, come back to us, a three pager, but uh, some significant information in there. And from that information and after consultation with the original mover of the motion, I myself have a motion that will be seconded by our planning and economic development chair, Councillor Danko, who was eager to do so, reached out to me with that one as soon as he saw the draft of this motion. And um, we'll have that on the floor immediately following the presentation. It's also my understanding that we're going to have some delegates representing ACORN and perhaps others uh, to speak to this as well prior to this draft coming to the floor. And it reads, moved by Councillor Farr, seconded by Councillor John Paul Danko, whereas the Building Code Act 1992 authorized the City of Hamilton to pass a bylaw prescribing standards for the maintenance and occupancy of property, whereas the City of Hamilton consolidated bylaw 10-221 being a bylaw to prescribe standards of the maintenance and occupancy of property was passed by Council in 2010. Whereas since the adoption of the property standards bylaw, uh, there have been eight amending bylaws since by council to improve the bylaw, uh, whereas there have been concerns of the health and safety of rental housing and apartments within the city, whereas as part of continuous improvement efforts, staff work to improve enforcement activities, including updating various bylaws to address specific municipal needs identified by council committee staff, of course, the public, and even the courts, whereas stakeholders were consulted on known and unknown gaps in the existing property standards bylaw and comparisons were done with other municipalities to ascertain if those gaps found were addressed in other municipalities property standards bylaws and whereas areas of improvement were identified which would enhance the health and safety of rental houses and apartments within the city and therefore be it resolved that licensing and bylaw services staff in consultation with legal services be directed to bring forward a bylaw to amend the property standards bylaw to reflect the areas for improvement found in the information report property standards bylaw review and municipality comparisons 
And again, that's item 10.1. We're going to hear from, I think it's uh, Dana that's going to offer the list of uh, what we're going to add to beef up uh, this rental housing bylaw. And just as I conclude, I once again want to thank ACORN, but um, since being part of the original motion moved by Councillor Whitehead, seconded by myself, I also want to thank staff and all of the members of the public, the neighborhood groups and, and the landlords who have engaged with us and worked with us in bringing forward the latest amendment to the property standards bylaw that we have today. So thanks again, ACORN. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, so just, just a, like a little bit of uh, Backstory, like uh, Councillor Farr was saying, um, back in January 2020, Acorn worked with Councillor uh, Terry Whitehead to bring uh, a motion forward to review and update the city's apartments uh, property standards, which was seconded by Councillor Farr. In the past year, Acorn attended three stakeholder consultation meetings for the review. It was important for the city to hear directly from tenants on what health and safety issues uh, needed to be included in the city's property standards bylaw. ACORN was happy with the consultation process with bylaw staff. It was a process that needed to be done and we are extremely pleased to see the report reflecting the concerns of, the, of tenants. The big areas of concerns that ACORN had identified were intercoms and security locking, appliances being kept in good repair, mail collection areas, common area and hallway cleanliness, ventilation systems cleaned, floors and walls with similar finishes upon repair, cupboards, fixtures, and faucets in good repair. ACORN has members across the city with these health and safety issues, but can't call the city when the landlord refuses to do the repairs. This forces tenants to Consider going to the, to the landlord tenant board, which doesn't work for many reasons, paying out of pocket for repairs themselves or the most likely scenario, living in an apartment with outstanding health and safety issues. I'd like to pass it on to Veronica now. Uh, thanks, Dana. Um, in a housing crisis, tenants cannot afford to move, especially long-term tenants. We'll never find the same rent again. This means that tenants will choose to stay in an apartment with substandard conditions. They don't have a choice. In 2019 report from Social Planning and Research Council of Hamilton reported that Hamilton's rate of disrepair for apartment buildings are higher than the Ontario average. The report also discussed the lack of investment into a unit and building was a deliberate business strategy used by some landlords. It's a more profitable for landlords to have a high turnover rate, uh, meaning tenants moving because frustrated with lack of repairs and past treatments and save on expenses. Acorn members that have been offered buyouts to move out for renovations or receive N13 renovation notices have shared how the landlord deliberately neglected the building for years or suddenly stopped upkeeping has a tactic to make, to make them moving out of more appealing. Tenants need healthy homes for their physical and mental well-being. They need a safe place to raise their children. They feel comfortable having friends and family visits. No matter how much you pay rent, tenants need a home that is free of pests and maintenance. The staff report says that further review with multiple city departments and outside agencies is needed to deal with pest and vermin admins. Pest infestations have a significant impact on mental and physical health. Members have expressed that having bed bugs and cockroaches affects their employment and ability to have visitors in their home uh, before COVID. Mice, cockroaches, and bedbugs can cause illness. ACORN strongly urges the city to review improvements to pest control enforcement. Hamilton's property standards bylaw needs to keep up tenants' safety. Low and moderate income families don't deserve to live in substandard conditions. ACORN will be delegating today at the planning committee meeting in support of staff report and Councillor's first motion. 
We will now pass it to work. Um, yes, we spoke with Jason already. <laughs> uh, great. Now, if if uh, you know if we have any questions, and uh, uh, we would love to answer them. I want to thank you also to Dana and Jason. Thank you. I also want to thank everyone that's uh, that's here as well, and yeah. uh, definitely a 